So Parade's sending me out to try and find all 16 of these trends for under $500. Can she do it? We don't know. Well, it's the first day of spring, thank you, Lord. But I need to be dressing the part. I already have my 10 by 10 wardrobe from Goodwill, video link above, but I wanna supplement with a few more statement pieces. I stumbled across a Cosmo article the other day listing off the biggest spring 2020 trends straight from the runway. And these pieces look like a perfect way to accent my wardrobe. Before I keep going though, I just need to say really fast, the title of this article says it's 12 spring trends and it's definitely 16. Am I going crazy? But like, honestly though, help me, am I going crazy? Either way, these trends are huge on the runway right now, which got me thinking, have these trends actually made it from the runway to the fast fashion and budget stores? So I wanted to challenge myself and see if I could actually find everything on this list in one day. So Parade's sending me out to try and find all 16 of these trends for under $500. Okay, so first stop, Target. We're going to try and find um, some of our 15 items. And I'm hoping Target will have some because they're kind of, you know, usually trendy. So we'll see what they got. Puffy sleeves is one. Oh, oh, this is um, uh, green, but it's not a, uh, but this could be draping and puffy sleeves. Oh, could we do two in one? Also, I'm going to find all 15 of these items. That is like my goal of the day and I'm gonna make it happen. So even after, if I have to crochet like something myself, I will do it. Although I feel like this is kind of crochet. Oh my gosh, isn't it? Although I'm not a huge fan of this color. Let's, let's go for the pink. Yeah, love. What else? Oh, pleats. This is pleats. I've definitely seen these all over the place. Even in the winter, people are like putting like oversized sweaters with them. They're really cute. So I definitely know why Cosmo put this on the list. Really cute. Oh, and see, more puff sleeves. Very trendy. White button down. This would be perfect if it was that, you know, mint green color that is so very trendy now. <laughs> Ooh, this is actually pretty cute. This is that orange sherbet. I'm telling you, Target has some great things. Is this it? <gasps> oh my gosh. Did you find a green jacket? <laughs> I'm really surprised. Honestly, that would be really hard to find. <laughs> this would be perfect if it was that, you know, mint green color and the freaking matching pants. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's unbelievable how on trend Target is. I mean, We'll try it. Okay, so we just got a ton of stuff. We have nine of the 16 different uh, trendy spring things, um, all from Target. So I'm feeling really good. This was about $304 total, um, which is actually really good for getting so many different outfits. Um, but I'm trying to keep everything under 500 or around there. So um, getting seven more things is gonna be a little difficult to stay under budget. And the last seven things are gonna be a lot harder to find. But first, coffee. Next up, Marshalls, we're coming for you. I'm gonna get that sheer monochrome dress and I'm hoping Marshalls is not going to fail me. Okay, seven more items. We got this. We got this, guys. Um, so this is a poncho, uh, and it's really cute. One, it could be a great bathing suit cover-up. Also, you could put this with like jean shorts and like a tank top, and it'd be really cute in the summer. So I'm gonna try this on. I was totally, totally banking on that to like find a couple, if not uh, all of them. And so now <laughs> I'm really, really hoping Old Navy will have some. I honestly don't have high hopes right now, but six more, six more. OK, 
great. So there was honestly nothing in there. I saw a few things that we already got, like some polka dots and some artful draping. But other than that, there was nothing. So it doesn't really seem like Old Navy is really uh, following at least Cosmo's spring trends. Okay, so since Old Navy and Marshalls was a total bust, I've resorted to the mecca of cheap fast fashion, Forever 21, but I feel like they're always very on trend, um, and so I feel like we're going to be able to knock out the rest of the items on the list, like bra top. Perfect, I can do that. That totally works, it counts as a bra top. Also, this is pink ruffles, and boom, two minutes in, I've already knocked out two different items. Is this a bow? That's a, that's a statement bow, we can make that into a bow. Okay, so we got, again, double whammy, crochet and fringe, but we're not sure what it, what is it? It's a swim, it's a swim, it's a cover up. Oh, so I guess it's like a, like a wrap, cover up skirt? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, it's the, it is definitely the um, see-through mesh that we are looking for. <laughs> it's got some really classy uh, diamonds. I'm dripping in diamonds. But that's it, that's like a see-through. That is what we're looking for. Okay, I'm hoping that we find something else, but for right now, this is the only one that we've seen today, so. Oh gosh. Finally, okay, we found it. Oh, I mean, Although, I still might go with the diamonds, you know. Um, no, definitely this. Oh, I'm so happy, yay. So, we've knocked out five here. We got statement bow, bra top, pink ruffles, fringe, monochrome sheer dress. We're only missing the holographic now, but I actually have a jacket from Forever 21 that I got like a month ago, um, and it's at home, so I'm just gonna use that because we really didn't find that anywhere today. So, there we go. <laughs> I think we got everything, so I'm gonna head back and actually style each outfit and try on all 16 different trends. So this top is going to come as close as I can actually uh, feel comfortable wearing to a bra top. The fringe was actually pretty hard to find, but this would make a really, really cute bathing suit cover-up. Love it. Great for summer, great for spring. Love the cut of this. It's really flattering. It comes down, drapes down the side, and you can tie it up. I think we got really lucky finding this crochet. I think it's close to what the runway looks like, and it's a great spring staple. Green suits! I mean, I don't know how you could get any closer because it is a mint green suit. Bam, power suit. I think the statement bow is as close as we're gonna get to the runway because it's really massive. Definitely makes a statement, for sure. Now, this is not as dramatic as the runway, but I don't think you could wear that in real life, whereas this shirt, you definitely could. Love this trend. I'm actually seeing it everywhere I go in every store, and you're definitely gonna be seeing it all around this spring. I'm actually really surprised about how close we got to the actual runway models on this one. While it's not as dramatic as the runway, a white button down is always a classic staple. Pleats, pleats, and more pleats. Love this skirt, love this trend. If you wanna make a statement, a holographic jacket is absolutely the way to go. Love this orange sherbet dress, one of my favorites, beautiful color. I think it's really actually close to the runway. I felt good in it and love it. Ponchos, okay, again, not as dramatic, but it'll definitely work. Beige all day, every day. That's what I gotta say, I love this. I think it looks like it could come off the runway. Pair it with a beige jacket and boom, you've got a runway look. While it's not head to toe polka dots, I surprisingly love this shirt and this trend. While my picks aren't as dramatic as those off the runway, I think these are great for everyday looks. Okay, we did it. We got 15.5 of the 16 items. Um, I did cheat a little bit with the holographic jacket because 
I could not find that anywhere. But I had one at home from Forever 21 from just a couple months ago, so I feel like pretty much that should count, right? Um, I will definitely say Target came in as the underdog and totally surprised me 100% had so many of the trends that were on the list. And then not surprisingly, Forever 21 had a lot of the more like very unique, trendy things that are going on right now, like the sheer monochrome dress, um, the you know bra top or whatever you wanna call it. Also, Forever 21 is known for keeping up with runway trends, so it really wasn't that surprising that they had a lot of the more unique, trendy things that we're gonna see in spring. Best part is, we actually came in under budget. All of those items, we got 15 different items and all of them were under $500. I know that we've talked about sustainable fashion on this channel in the past, and we're definitely gonna keep making videos towards that, but today's challenge was really to find spring trends on a budget, and the only way to actually do that is to shop fast fashion. And we learned today that a lot of the stores are actually keeping up with the runway trends. I think my favorite trend for spring 2020 is definitely the pleated skirts. They're really cute. You can dress them up, dress them down. They're a nice like go between. You can either add a sweater or a t-shirt, you know, depending on the weather. So I think it's a great trend and it's always flattering to wear a nice pleated skirt. Love it. What is your favorite spring 2020 trend? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to like, subscribe and comment and I will see you guys next week on Try the Trend.